Hi guys, yet another episode in my charity shop, Gold or Garbage. Spotted this in my charity shop. It's a 35mm camera for a pound. Now, to be honest, I don't want a 35mm camera at all. But, I've spotted on YouTube uh, quite a few videos on using the flash mechanism from a single use camera to light a small fluorescent light, a CFL I think they call them, compact fluorescent lights. So I thought if the flash works on this then I can probably use this, or at least the electronics from inside it, to actually light a CFL. So all we need to do is see if the flash works. see that the, the little red light's coming on in there. So that's, uh, that looks like it should be working. I need to wind it on. Right, that's positioned it so it thinks the film's in the next, next position. Right, flash works, so the ne next part of this project will be to take it apart and see if we can light a CFL, compact fluorescent light, with it. Oh, and the thing to remember is you have to discharge it, otherwise you're going to get a belt off the capacitor when you come to use it. So, turn that off, I don't know if it'll still discharge I suppose it'd be sensible to take the bulb out wouldn't it? Uh, bulb, take the battery out then it can't recharge Right, so hopefully that's discharged it. I'll check that before I actually put my fingers on it. But there we go. So hopefully I've got a working flash mechanism in there. And there's a lens and I think that's probably the only other bit will be any good. So that's been purchased specifically to take it apart. Right, what do you reckon the chances are of getting this apart without actually breaking it? This little screw there. That was nothing dramatic, was it? Take that off again. There's a good chance we might be using a little bit of uh, uh, subtlety to lever it all apart. Bit of movement. Pinching my fingers anyway.
that's a bit of circuitry we want. Apparently, if we just connect the wires that... I'll have to go and check the video actually, but I think it's if we just check the wires that go to the flash. Or am I wrong? Is there a big capacitor in there somewhere? There ought to be a big capacitor there somewhere. Oh, there's the capacitor. It might be the wires that go to the capacitor. So I'll, I'll go and have another quick look on YouTube and check which way it goes. And then uh, see if we can power our light bulb. There's a light bulb. I haven't got my glasses on. Can't quite make out how many watts that is. But we'll try that one. I've got loads of these, so we'll see what we can get to work. Right. I had a quick look at the video, and it is the capacitor, I think, that we're going to be, or at least the leads that go to the capacitor, that's going to light the bulb. But what I'll do is I'll finish taking it all apart. Um, see if there's any salvageable bits that we can use for other purposes. That little lens should be useful for something. That's handy taking that off because you can see there's a couple of contacts there that are made when the lens is pressed. Lens. <laughs> Button is pressed. Anyway, I'll just take all these bits out. Okay, that that red wire there goes to the battery. I won't actually disconnect that yet because that might be a handy place for testing it. Just to put the battery in there. See if we can get the circuit board out. Okay. There's quite a few dire warnings on the video I watched on YouTube about this capacitor could still be fully charged and you might give yourself a belt off it if you're not careful. Even though you've got the battery disconnected. So I suppose I could, well there's various things you could do, the guy suggests putting a resistor across it to discharge it. So I suppose I could do that, or I could just put my screwdriver across there, and uh, see what happens. It might damage the circuit board, it might not. That was quite a spark, wasn't it? Right, well, if we haven't blown everything up, that's the leads I want, so I shall uh, get my soldering on out and unsolder that. Right, I've also, well I've unsoldered the capacitor, I've also unsoldered the flash bulb itself, so that's our bit of circuitry left, not quite sure if I need those leads, I shouldn't think I do. And if I do, I can always just short it out anyway, so I'll, I'll unsolder them as well. Right, as I understand it, those two terminals are the ones that had the capacitor on them. I'll just come in a bit closer, those two. So that should be where I connect my light. That was the switch that previously operated the flash. So on the video, the guy actually solders that down. So I might do that in a minute. If I just stick a battery in there. What should happen when I press that bulb, uh, that button is that little red light should come on. Yeah, and I got a little bit of a belt at the same time. So, next thing to do is connect the light up to those terminals. 
Right, I've pushed the circuit board back onto the plastic assembly. I've got this old table lamp, so I've just connected the wires straight from the lamp to where the capacitor was. I should put the battery back in. the switch and there you go the light is lighting it may not be the best light but it's lighting so there you go that's all I'm doing I'm just pushing up that push switch I could replace that with a little on off switch but that's a one and a half volt triple A battery. Push the button and it's lighting. If it, if it was slightly darker in here, you'd be able to see it a lot easier. I wonder if I can close all the curtains. All right, I've closed the curtains so it's a bit darker. And if I push that switch, there we go. Enjoying that. Right, I've just had a quick rummage through my scrap box and found this old fashioned toggle switch, which um, is a bit overkill for what we need. But this, there's already a hole there, might have to open it out a little bit. But I should be able to put that switch just there, solder a couple of tags either side of where the existing switch is, and put the base back on. And I'll have a little lamp that uh, works off a AAA battery. No idea how long it'll last for. I can't imagine it'll last for long, but. Uh, It'll be a novelty, a bit of fun. Right. There's me switch soldered onto the circuit board. So that works. All I've got to do now is clear that hole, poke that through it. And stick that in. There we go, finished article. I'm obviously in the dark here a little bit so we get a better effect when I switch it on. There we go. It doesn't really show on the camera but that's flickering quite badly. Um, I could try a different wattage and see if I get up a more permanent glow out of it. But. Uh, for the fun of making it, there we go, done. That was fun. <laughs>